pray all of this in your name, dear Heavenly Father. Touch the bishop right now, dear Heavenly Father, to give us a word, dear Heavenly Father, to live better for you, dear God. Dear Lord, we pray for all those who are on their way, for those who couldn't make it, for the musicians, for the singers, for everyone that's here in this presence, dear Heavenly Father, Lord. We pray that you just rain down your blessings upon us, dear God. Lord, we pray all of this in your name, and I'll just say amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together one more time, and let's give God the glory. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be adored. Come on, somebody lift up your voice. And let's give God a hallelujah. Because he's worthy to be praised.
He deserves it. He deserves it. Hallelujah. He deserves it. He deserves it. He's worthy. He is worthy of the praise. Hallelujah. God some high praise in this house. He is worthy of the praise. He is worthy of the glory. Come on, put your hands together. And let's lift him up in this house. Amen. 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 How many of you 
happy to be in church today. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. You're happy to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Come on. He's been good to you. Yes, sir. And let the redeem of the Lord say so. Yeah. The Lord is good. We're going to have announcements at this time. We're going to have uh, announcements, I think, uh, that Baba Wilson will come and give us our announcements uh, on today. Can the church say amen? amen. Come on, y'all. Let's give Baba Wilson a hand as she's coming. <laughs> Looks like she got a new hairdo. Come on, y'all. Give it up for her as she's coming to give us our announcements. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. It's good to be here this morning. Yeah. I just thank the Lord here a lot. Me to be here this morning. Because this has been a bad week for the old girl. But he's still allowed me to make it out here this morning. So that I say thank you. It's got good to see all of you guys this morning. And I just thank the Lord for you guys too. Thank each one for for continuing uh, with our love offering. And I see Brother Mike is on his post this morning. Yeah. And we thank you for your continued support. It may not be but a few of us, but our works and achievements show yeah. otherwise. And we just want to say that everybody is welcome here. And let us continue to invite our family, friends, and strangers to church. Because that's part of evangelism. Do we have any business today? Okay. Um, okay. Would you like to have a word this morning? I want to make this meal from Solid Rock Mission Church. Uh, it's an honor to be here. And uh, yesterday I turned 46. Have you been here? Have you been here?
And now you're in the hands of pastor. Amen. All right, let's give Mama Wilson a hand. Come on. Come on, church. We can do better than that. Let's make it sound like this place is filled. Come on, let's make this place sound like it is filled. I just need a little push on this and I'll be all right. This place is filled with people of God that has come to worship God in spirit and in truth. I want to thank God for these, these deacons. Come on, let's thank God for them. Thank you so much, Deacon Anderson, Deacon Smith. Uh, for rolling, we thank God for you. Uh, at this particular time, I believe we come to the time where we're going to uh, have our tithes and offering. We're going to have our tithes and our offering. At this particular time, we want you to get a good seed in your hand. We're going to get a good seed. Let me have my wallet from right there, a good seed uh, in your hand. All right, praise the Lord, everybody. So we get ready for the word. Amen. Amen. Let's prepare our hearts, let's prepare our minds, and let's get ready for the word. Amen. Amen. I lift my hands and 
Amen. And as Bishop Michael Broad has stood as the shepherd of this illustrious church, amen. I feel privileged to stand behind this pulpit. Can the church say amen? amen. amen. And uh, we come to preach today, and I have a message designed with you in mind. Mm -hmm. And I uh, want you to turn your Bibles if you can. I feel good. Turn your Bibles to Luke 17. Luke 17. Luke 17. Luke 17. Good to have uh, Dr. Tim Bishop Brown on the on that organ. Amen. Amen. Sounds wonderful. Sounds wonderful. Luke 17. I want to look at verse number. 32. Please stand. Verse number 32. It's real simple. If you can't remember this verse, we got to pray for you. Remember Lot's wife. That's what I want to talk about today. Remember Lot's wife. Amen. Tell yourself that. Look at somebody say, just remember, just remember. Lot's wife. Lot's wife. Father, it is in the strong name of Jesus we pray and we thank you for who you are and we thank you for what you've done. For I understand as the man of God standing behind the sacred desk that I cannot preach without you. Hallelujah. Spirit of a living God, fall fresh on these clay hands and on my mouth that I may speak your word on today. That God we will be changed and transformed into what you have designed and destined us to be. It's a new year and we're grateful. We're thankful. And for that, God, I say, hide me behind the cross. Yes, yes, yes. yes, God, beneath the dripping of your blood, that the people would see less of me and yet would hear all of, yes, you. There's nobody like you. That's it. That's the spirit. And besides you, there are no others. Use me again. Yes, Lord. Forgive me of my sins. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And then God, let somebody come and accept you as Christ, Father, as Lord and Savior. Yes. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Yes, Lord. It is in Jesus' name we thank you. Yes, and all the people said amen. amen. I got 15 minutes to do this. I just need y'all amens real quickly. Say it again. Remember, Never. Lot's wife. Sisters, by way of introduction, Denzel Washington has been a prolific actor for some time. Well, he's been so prolific, he's starred in many movies. Uh, For it was a few years ago, they did an interview on Denzel. Mm-hmm. And then close to the end of Denzel, Denzel's interview, they asked Denzel a strange question. Wow. Yes. They asked Denzel, they said, what was your favorite movie out of all your movies you starred in? Mm -hmm. They said, was it the devil in a blue dress? <laughs> he said, no, it was not the devil in a blue dress. They said, was it the movie Philadelphia? That was a good movie. He said, no. It was not Philadelphia. They said, well, was it Training Day? That was a good movie. You won an award on that one. Was that your greatest movie? And Denzel said, as a matter of fact, none of those movies was my best movie. Amen. So Denzel, what was your best movie? He said, my best movie is my next movie. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What Denzel was saying, watch this was he could not get caught up in what he did in the past. Yes, yes. But
but he needed to concentrate, watch this, on his potential towards the future. Yes, Lord. That's my plight and prerogative of this pulpit presentation that we cannot allow our past progress, watch this, to misguide us or to manipulate us in our present potential. I need to pause parenthetically and let somebody know look, that you want to give God the praise for what he did in the past. You want to lift up your hands and give him praise for what he did in the past. You want to give God glory because I understand that he brought us from a mighty long way. But you really want to shout unto God because even though you've done things in the past, I need to tell you your potential is greater. Brothers and sisters, I just come to talk to a few of you. If I can just get about seven of you uh, who will understand uh, that God uh, has more. Open your mouth and say, God has more. Amen. Say, God has better. Amen. Say, God has more. Amen. Say, God has better. Amen. Let me try it one more time. God has more. Amen. And God has better. Y'all still ain't hearing me. I said, God has more, and God has better. And if God has more, then I want more. If God has better, I want better. I'm not talking about more cash, more car, or more cribs. Somebody say, I want more. I want more of God. I want more of the anointing of God. I want to do more in ministry. I want to do more in evangelism. I want more members. I want the church of God to do more. I want more on the usher ministry. I want more on the deacon ministry. I want more sitting in the pew. I want more giving God praise. Can you open up your mouth and say, Lord, I want more. I want more. Watch this because this ain't all God has for me. So I got to try to reach for the next. Somebody say next. Listen, I, I remember being in um, um, it was it was junior high and they call it middle school now. Right. But uh, I used to love to play basketball. As short as I am, I love playing basketball. Hallelujah. And uh, if you wanted to get in the game of basketball, uh -huh. you had to stand on the line mm -hmm. and say, "I got next." Amen. And I don't know about you, but I've told God already. I'm standing on the line. I need you to open up your mouth and say, I got next. When it comes to you giving miracles, can you shout, I got next. When it comes to you doing great things, can you open your mouth and say, I got next. Is there anybody up in here and you know God has great things for you? Can you say, Lord, I got next. I'm next in line for a miracle. But I want more. I want more. I want more joy. Yes, yes. I want more peace. I want to smile more. Yes. I want to enjoy life more. Yes. Y'all ain't listening to me today. Yes. And so, y'all, when we look at the text, when we look at the text, uh, the theme of this text finds its origin in the backdrop of Genesis chapter 19. And it is there an authentic, watch this, Yet a horrific situation is printed in the pages of Genesis 19. Lot, Abraham's nephew, is in the region, I need y'all to talk back to me, in the realm of, of Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah was a place of wickedness. Yes, Lord. It was so wicked that Abraham pleaded with God to save the city. Hallelujah. And said, God, if I find 50 in the city that are righteous, will you save the city? And God told him, if you go and you find 50 that are righteous in the city, I'll save the city. Yes, Lord. 
Abraham came back and said, Lord, what if I find 40 in the city? If I find 40 in the city, would you save the city? God said, yeah, if you find 40 in the city, I'll save the city. He went all the way down to 30. If I find them in the city, would you save the city? God said, yeah, go on and look for them uh, in the city. If you find 30 in the city, I will save the 30 righteous that is in the city. Went all the way down. As a matter of fact, to where he said, if I find 10. Yeah. Uh, in the city, will you save the city? Yeah. Station identification, can I give you a free fact? You ain't got to pay for this. When God says something that ain't no good, believe him. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, <laughs> when God says something that ain't no good, All right. you ought to believe what God says. Yes. If God said it ain't worth it, it ain't worth your time, it ain't worth your input, whenever God say it ain't no good, you got to believe what he said. Yes, yes. Somebody say believe him. Believe him. Obey him. Obey him. Don't try to fix it. Don't try to fix it. Don't try to, don't try to resurrect it. When God says it's good, it's time to leave it alone. Y'all yeah. yeah, don't have time to deal with the old text in totality, but I want to invoke your attention to Genesis uh, uh, to this text in Luke chapter number 17 and dealing with Lot's wife. Mm -hmm. Lot's wife is never mentioned, is watch this, is, is never mentioned, but her name and her game is mentioned. Mm -hmm. right. Jesus, watch this, in verse, and this verse says to them, remember Lot's wife, verse number 32. Yeah. And what is about it about Lot's wife that God wants us to understand. Mm -hmm. To where he will say in this text, in one verse, to remember Lot's wife. Amen. Number one, he said, remember Lot's wife because Lot's wife had a problem with her faith. She had a problem with her faith. She had a problem with her faith, and y'all, let me tell you this, if you want to do anything in 23, well, Amen. You're gonna to have to have more faith. Hallelujah. I don't know who this is for. You wanna just catch it. If you're gonna do anything great for God in 2023, if you don't have faith, you're gonna repeat 2022. Amen. Amen. I don't know about y'all, I just don't wanna repeat Amen. 2022. Amen. I made some mistakes Amen. in 2022. Yeah. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. I, 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 I've done things that uh, I said I wish I could do over again. Yeah. Yes. And so, but I need to step my game up as it relates to faith. Uh -huh. yes. And so she had a problem with her faith. She was in disbelief. Really? Listen, belief in the Greek, watch this, is pitas, which means accepting what God has said Amen. to be true and true. Yeah. So when you have faith in God, it is you accepting what God has said. Yeah. And you got to learn to accept what God has said. Yeah. You know, many times in the church we say amen. amen. But some of us say amen prematurely not understanding that when you say amen, that means, that suggests that, that Lord, whatever you say, I agree with it. Yeah. it. It doesn't mean that you're going to try to turn around what God has said. Yeah. But Lord, whatever you have said that I've already learned how to say amen. Can I get one witness in the house? Can you lift up your Holy Ghost hand and say, Lord, I've already learned how to say amen. Can you open up your mouth and just say amen? I don't understand it, but can you say amen? I don't know what you're doing, but can you say amen? Say, Lord, I ain't even got the money for it, but can you shout amen? Say yes, but you still got an amen. If you got an amen, give God glory. If you got an amen, give God praise. If you got an amen, you ought to open up your mouth. And shout unto God like you know who he is. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. She had a problem with her yes, faith. Yes, but we also see the position of her faith. Yes, and when we see the position of her faith, we understand when Jesus said, remember Lot's wife, remember 
that God delivered them. Yes. yes. Say God delivered them. God delivered them. No, say it again. Say God delivered them. God delivered them. I need you to catch this. God delivered them. Yes. And how many times does God deliver us from something? Hallelujah. And we go back to Hallelujah. the very thing that God delivered us from. Yeah. We go, we go, we go. We go back to it. Now, God don't got you out. Mm, uh, yes. So, so y'all, I understand something, and I promise y'all, we're going to give y'all one hoop. We're going to get out of here. I, I've learned something. That deliverance does not constitute me being over something. Yes, God. yes. All right. All right. So just because I've come out, uh -huh. it does not mean I've overcome. Amen, uh -huh. amen. Yeah. 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 God just got me out. Yes. yes, hallelujah. But it doesn't mean that I've overcome the thing that God got me out of. Amen. And until I overcome mm. what God delivered me from, yes. I'm going to keep going back mm. to where God delivered me from. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, y'all. In other words, God got me out of it. Yes. It's up to me to stay out of it. Yes. And there are some places Ooh. and some stuff yes. and some people Hallelujah. we ought to never go back to. Yes. Amen. Because if God does not change that person, yes. uh -huh. if God does not change that predicament, yes. we're going to go back to do the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And y'all listen, I've gotten too old yeah. to go back yeah. to where God has delivered me. Yeah. That I've made up in my mind yeah. that I can do all things through Christ yeah. who strengthens me. Yeah. And I got to close now. But I need to tell Text. And he's telling his disciples about the kingdom of God. And I need you to open up your mouth and say 2023 is about the kingdom of God. I need you to talk to yourself and say, Lord, it's about your kingdom. Say, Lord, it's about your Say, Lord, it's about your will. It's about your church. For the Bible says, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church of God. What are you saying, preacher? You cannot look back.
Give the Lord lift that hand up today. Yes. Amen. God, that is your hand up, Tim? Mm -hmm. hey. yes. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Let's give God some good praise on today. Did you all enjoy the message? Come on, did you enjoy the message? Yes. At least make me think you did. Come on, clap your hands. And give God glory. I think we've done what we've come to do on today. Is there any other piece of business, Mama, we need to do? Or we, we, we've we done all that. The who? The love offering. Yes, yes. We want to have a love offering. Amen. Now, me and Mama Wilson share something alike, and no matter whatever, she's dear to me. My mama name was Maddie Wilson. <laughs> Amen. And everybody called her Mama Maddie. God is good. And he's good all the time. There's a sweet spirit here. There's a sweet spirit here. I woke up this morning in a good spirit. I slept good last night. I really did. I slept good. How many feel better after you get a good night's sleep? Amen. But when you don't sleep, boy, you can be grumpy and grouchy. Amen. Somebody want to say amen. 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 Hey, Y'all still got me? Are we still on film? Are we still on? Okay, I can't say I can't say what I was getting ready to say. <laughs> but I uh, just want to make sure we was we wasn't on. You wasn't on live, but when you get real good good sleep, it's just a good thing. Amen. Yeah. So y'all, let's get ready for our for our offering on today. Let's get ready for our offering. I've already sowed the seed. I'm sow some more. Amen. Amen. Here you go, D. Let's put this. Let's put that in there. You gotta sow wherever you go, right?